Selling a house in today's market can be tricky, and when the stakes are high, every detail counts. As a property expert, I know you shouldn't have your house lingering on the market, but sometimes getting homeowners to see the light, it's half the battle. Stephen is a divorced dad who made it big in the high-tech industry and is now following his dreams of becoming an inventor. His house has incredible views of Lake Ontario and it's on the market for $1.3 million. The problem is, it's not selling. But that's why we're here, to turn this house from unsellable to sellable. Well, I bought the house about four years ago. I loved it because of the location. There are locations to die for. The selling point is the view. Well, I decided a few years ago that I needed to focus on this adventure that I had come up with. The idea for my invention is to help deaf people communicate with the rest of the world. I'm starting to need capital to move it forward, so it's, uh, it's unfortunate that I have to sell, but I have to sell it to fulfill my dream. I'm running out of money. All my money is tied up in the house. So if I don't sell the house, that's a, that's a huge problem. Stephen's house is situated on a double lot in the Scarborough Bluffs, an upscale neighbourhood that overlooks Lake Ontario. There's only a certain fixed number of waterside properties, and Stephen's has an amazing view. On top of that, similar-sized houses on this street have been selling between 900,000 to 1.5 million, so we know it's not incorrectly priced. People should be lining up to buy it, but he hasn't received a single offer. There's obviously a bit of a problem. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Wow. That is some view. It's a million dollar view. It's awesome. But the house is still not selling. It's been on the market for two months. Not a single offer. Not a single offer. This is a fantastic room. It's quite 70s. It's definitely got a retro feel. Mm -hmm. And the wood is quite 70s as well. Definitely is. I think the open plan concept works really well. And the nice thing is the paint colour's not battling with the view. It leads the eye straight out into the garden. It's beautiful. Wow. There's a lot of wood in here. It doesn't scream 1.3 million, this kitchen. No, it needs an update. <laughs> it Absolutely. does need an update. Yeah. Yeah. So, where to next? Follow me. Brilliant. Huh. I've never seen a Juliet door inside before. What is it, the door to nowhere? No, it's, it's actually my office. Here's my office. Oh, I love the floor. The original floors. Very pretty. I think we can do something in here. You think we can? It's a little bit dark. Mm. Almost not with? Yep. Nice size room. It's a great size room. Nice neutrally painted. I'm not a fan of vertical blinds. They're the original. So that's the guest bedroom. Let's check out the master bedroom. What a lovely room. It's a good size, you've got the original floor, and you've got an incredible view. What more could you ask for? Well, I think we should get out into the garden. All right, then. It's great. This looks a little rickety. Steven, Steven, Steven. It's just all weeds. It's awful, isn't it? Right. The garden is fantastic, but it does have a slight air of dilapidation about it. I've tried to weed. It's, it's just so overgrown. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. We can have margaritas. So we don't have time. We've got weeding, painting. The view from Stephen's house is fantastic, but for $1.3 million, people want more than just a view. So if we're going to sell this house, we've got to make sure the interior and the gardens wow just as much as the view. This house has a lot going for it. It's a good size. I like the open plan concept. But obviously, we can't just rely on the view to sell this house. OK. There are a few oddities. The 1950s kitchen was a bit of a surprise. What we need to do is make it livable. I'm not talking about a complete redo, but we don't want them to go running for the hills when they see it. Having two bedrooms on this level I don't think is enough. This is a family neighbourhood. I think if we made the office a bedroom, that would be fantastic. There's a 70s feel, but it's also quite a masculine feel right. here. I think we can maybe soften the edges a bit. Definitely need the feminine touch. Yes. The garden is a fantastic size, but what I would say is 
the million dollar view is slightly obscured. So what we want to do is make the garden flow towards the view. OK. Once we've done all this, I think this will be a great package with the view, with the garden, with the interior. And then we can have margaritas and look at the view. All right. When the work is finished. Stephen has to sell his house so he can put the capital toward his new invention to help the deaf. His house has gorgeous views of the lake, but the inside lets it down. It's tired, it's dated, it is not family friendly, and the garden is full of weeds. I've got a meeting now with Kim, the real estate agent, to see what she thinks is going on with the house. Now, what type of buyer do you think is going to fall in love with this house? What would be nice to see is a uh, family buy it or a couple buy it, as opposed to uh, the other option would be a builder. Because the family are going to pay the 1.3. That's right. Whereas a builder would probably want to pay around a million. That's right. Okay. Exactly. So from the families, what feedback have you had? Not enough bedrooms on the main level. Yeah. And uh, the kitchen. They weren't enthralled with the kitchen at all. But they love, love, love the location. Love, love, love that view. So those pros have to kind of outweigh those cons. So I think three bedrooms upstairs is really, really important. Indeed. So once we've made the inside slightly more family orientated, three bedrooms, upgraded the kitchen, and made the garden a bit tidier. That'll make the house sing, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Okay, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll generate some proper interest and some offers. For sure, yeah, I think Brilliant. that should do it. Steve, I wanted to show you a comparable house in the neighborhood that shows well, but the problem is your house is so unique. It's difficult to find a comparison, but I don't think I've done badly with this one, so come on in. Great, look forward to it. This is one of the two sitting rooms in the house. It's nice and bright, but it's just a touch more feminine, a bit more family orientated than your house. Mine needs a feminine touch. Yes. Now, you know that one of your house's Achilles heels is the kitchen. It's putting potential buyers off, and you've had feedback from people, so you know what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, this kitchen, it's by no means brand new, but it shows really well. The cupboards, they're clean, they're fresh, new hardware. So the 50s kitchen out, modern kitchen in. All right. Now, I really want to show you the three bedrooms upstairs. I know what you're thinking. Small. You're thinking small, and you're not wrong. So upstairs, you have three bedrooms all on the one floor, which families want. So having three bedrooms on the same floor is a good thing. That's why I want to turn the study into a bedroom, appealing to the family vote. Right. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. The good thing about this house is it's more family orientated. Slightly smaller and slightly scruffier than your house, but it shows really well. And this house sold in six days. Six days? Six days, yeah. But that should make you feel positive, because we're going to create changes in your house that's going to make it look fabulous. But we do have a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. OK. To help us get that fabulous, updated look, I've called in general contractor Anthony Sayers. Anthony is head of construction, so he's going to go through the nuts and bolts of what we want to do. Great. Great house, by the way. Outdated. Hello. A little. But it's, it's nice. I like the panelling. But we need to address it by just painting it out to blend in with the rest of the house. Going into your kitchen, your cabinets <laughs> are really out there. Really out there. Yeah. yeah. We'll prime them out, paint them. Make it livable. Yeah. Good. Good idea. And your office. I'm going to take the door out and close it in with glass, some nice green glass, so that you can still let light through. Make that a third bedroom. That's a great idea. Let's head outside, because we have lots of interesting things going on outside. Sounds good. Super. OK. First of all, I think we need to address the railing. It's falling down, so we'll just rebuild the whole railing. How are we going to landscape the garden so the eye is drawn towards the view? We're going to start by landscaping the garden, de-weeding it, mm -hmm. exposing the rock garden that's here. And then the other garden, we're going to cut out some of the plants that are there just to open up the view a little bit better, right? Sounds fantastic. There's a million dollar views over there, so let's go over. I've got a great idea. Oh, what we need to do out here is create more of a seating area. So we'll do that by putting down some flagstones, mm -hmm. patio stones. We have a lot of work to do, so I suggest we get in the house and start.
That looks much more sturdy. Yes, it is, because uh, the original one was nailed and I've screwed everything together. Screws uh, will hold the materials together. Nails kind of give out over time, right? I've got new pressure treated pieces of wood. What does pressure treated mean? It's coated with a special chemical that will help preserve the wood for like 15 to 25 years. Wow. And it's cheaper than cedar. So cheap and long lasting. Yes. Now, is it going to stay this color? Yes. We're not going to paint it or anything? No, not yet. You have to let pressure treated sit and weather for a full year before you can stain it or paint it. Because the two woods kind of don't really match at the moment. After we finish everything, we'll power wash the old wood and hopefully it'll kind of blend in to the new stuff. Well, I'll leave you to it. It looks a million bucks. Well, thank you. Building a stone patio takes a few steps. First, remove the top layer of grass, remove a few inches of dirt, take this great stuff, it's called filter cloth. What it does is prevents any weeds from growing through the patio and it will help for water drainage. Lay your filter cloth over the area and then take this magical stuff, it's called screening. It's like sand and gravel mixed together. Use it to level out the pad as much as possible. Tamp it, make it as compact as you can and then put your stones down. Patio is fairly easy to do. You just gotta get your hands dirty. The garden is looking so much better. We've weeded and taken out the excess shrubbery and that gives the rock garden color and adds structure to the garden. And more importantly, they draw the eye to the view. I'm really pleased. Backyards are extremely important, especially to young families, so whatever dirty work you've got to do to make it look good, it will be worth the effort. This house is similar in price and presented as nicely on the outside as it is on the inside. Aside from being superbly decorated, this living room is sophisticated and gender neutral. The modern decor would appeal to a variety of buyers instead of screaming bachelor pad. The same could be said of this elegant dining room where classic styling will catch the attention of potential buyers. I always stress that an updated kitchen adds value. Buyers looking in this price range expect this level of design in a kitchen, but whatever price your home is listed at, painting your cupboards with a modern palette and updating the hardware is a good place to start. The master bedroom is just as lovely and spacious as Stevens, but it's been accessorized, giving it a higher-end feel. Small details always make a big difference, and in this house, the attention to detail makes it look like a million bucks. Steven is laying everything on the line by selling his house to finance his new invention. The interior was very dated and the garden was totally overgrown. But now we've got rid of the dated decor and we've done some serious landscaping. I think it's not just the view that looks a million dollars. Stephen's bachelor pad living room needed a bit of a feminine touch. So we brightened it up with a paint job and some simple decor accents. Stephen replaced his dated furniture with new pieces, versatile enough for him to take wherever he goes. The dining room didn't need much work, but by simply adding new drapes and an inexpensive light fixture, we've given it the ambiance which makes people feel at home. Stephen's outdated kitchen was pushing potential buyers off, so we freshened up the cupboards with a coat of paint and added new hardware. You can't underwhelm buyers' expectations with a kitchen that doesn't look like it's worth the price tag, but sometimes a simple update is all you need. We completely transformed Stephen's office into a charming third bedroom which buyers expect to see in such a large home. Trading in those dated vertical blinds for new drapes really makes a feature out of the beautiful window. As for that strange door that led to nowhere, Anthony's idea to replace it with glass worked out beautifully. The guest bedroom had all the elements it should, but none of the charm. It's important to dress a room when you're trying to sell because you don't want space that adds value to seem like an afterthought. The master bedroom was already a selling feature, but for a million dollars, you want it to look as smart as possible. So we dressed it up with accessories to give it a chic look to match the price tag. 
And as for the biggest selling feature, we pulled out all the stops to turn Stephen's huge backyard garden into the million dollar oasis it should be. The barbecue patio area needed more of a wow factor. So we turned it into a fabulous eating spot worthy of summer entertaining. The interlocking bricks were weather stained and full of weeds, but a thorough clean made them look like new turning this patio into the kind of backyard haven a million dollar pad deserves. The dilapidated stairs and railings were unsafe, a huge turn off for potential buyers. But Anthony's new railing is safe and sound, and after a little power wash, all the wood blends beautifully, making it look like new. Curb appeal doesn't just apply to front yards. You want to make sure the backyard looks just as fab. As for all those shrubs blocking the million dollar view, our fresh landscaping has added the value that this house needed. Especially now that everything flows nicely right through to the new flagstone sitting area, which is the perfect place to enjoy the vista. The entire property now has the look of a million dollar pad and at a grand total of $4,000, the money spent will now be money gained when buyers see this house for what it's really worth. Matching the look to the price is nothing, though, without a little clever marketing. The kitchen is one of the most important features of the house. But if you don't have the budget for a full reno, a coat of paint and clean surfaces work miracles. It's worthwhile considering buyers with families. So turn that media room back into a valuable bedroom. Families love bedrooms. In many cases, your home is not just bricks and mortar. It includes the entire property. And if you're blessed with a spectacular view, then make the most of it. Cut down the trees, trim the bushes, and open the curtains. Oh, the changes are absolutely amazing. When people come through in the house, they'll see a, a much more friendly home, much more inviting. The house and the garden are now on par with the view. Stephen's house has been updated, it's family friendly, this place has been transformed. It's open house time, and I think potential buyers are going to be impressed with the view inside as well as out. But there's only one way to find out. Let's open those doors. It's lovely to meet you. Well, come on through. Hey. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Very spacious sitting room. Oh, Love the beautiful. fireplace. Come through to the kitchen. Oh, this is cool. Well, this is an original 1950s kitchen. Well, the cupboards are nice. They do have that country feel. We could live in it for a while and see, yeah. see if we wanted to update it or not. It does have that very charming feel to mm -hmm. it. This is really, really nice. It's a nice little guest bedroom. This used to be a door, and the door obviously led on to nowhere. So we've put this glass in, so you get so much light. Fantastic well, you light in there, too. Yeah. This has been done so nice. It's so bright and light. Oh, this is lovely. It's nice and open. We've got a room for a nice large dresser. Wow. I can handle wow. waking up here every morning. Mm. This is incredible. It's beautiful. It's nice and big. Now that's what I call a real oasis. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. It's a very wide lot. It's a double lot, which is quite rare, so it's pretty special. I think it's fabulous. Beautiful landscaping. I feel yeah. like I'm in Little Garden of Eden. <laughs> oh, stunning. Simply stunning. OK, oh, that does it. Beautiful. That's worth the price right here. Yeah. Good point. The price is $1.3 million. They don't make houses no. like this anymore. You'll never find a house like this. I really like it. I like that the bedroom's on the same floor. How does it compare to other houses you've seen? More nicely put together, mm -hmm. but the backyard is amazing. Is this something you would consider coming back and having a second look at? I think so. Yes. It's like having a cottage and a house in one. It's beautiful. So you've been looking for a couple of weeks. Has, does anything compare to this? I think so far, this is probably the nicest one right. that we have seen. You've got the house, you've got the garden, and you've got the view. You can't go wrong. Well, will you be coming back potentially for second viewing? I almost guarantee mm -hmm. it. Wow, I love guarantees. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Indeed. you so much. Thank it was lovely so much to meet you. you. So, Kim, what do you think? Well, I think it's lovely. Big transformation, though. Yeah. Love it. The garden. Oh, 
That's the coup right there, absolutely. That's just improved everything. The view is wider now. All you see are the beautiful sailboats out there. It's gorgeous, yeah. But I definitely think this house is 110% more sellable than absolutely. it was Absolutely. I know Steve's yeah. very, very happy. And I know it sounds corny, but the fact is, if he sells this house, mm -hmm. he's going to be putting money towards an invention that's going to help a lot of people. That's right. And I have my fingers crossed for a quick sale. Oh, thank you so much. I think it's going to happen. This house has come such a long way. Now, everywhere I look, it's a beautiful view. The inside's not dated, it's warm and retro, which is in keeping with the 1950s feel, and the garden its not overgrown anymore. It's structured and gorgeous. I think we've taken this house from unsellable to sellable. The house definitely has changed. It mirrors the view. It's a million-dollar view. It's a million-dollar home. Our hard work creating a newly updated look for Stephen's house paid off in spades when interest levels rose considerably. Being so close to a sale means he's much nearer to financing his invention and bringing his dream to fruition. Cheers.